I'm Emmanuel Cosgrove from EcoHome. Um, you can see we're closing in for winter just about on time because uh, snow's falling and we're, we're insulating the roof to R95 with Roxel insulation. Um, and uh, I would be concerned with um, snowflakes falling with any other type of insulation, but uh, I don't think uh, a few snowflakes will really affect uh, Roxel insulation. If you haven't used it before, you'd notice quickly that working with mineral wool bats is quite a bit different than working with fiberglass. The bats are heavier, they're more dense, and unlike fiberglass, compressing it has very little impact on its performance. Installing any kind of insulation in an open roof from above leaves you completely at the mercy of the weather, so the moisture tolerance of Roxel really helped us keep our heart rates at a manageable level doing this since uh, flurries were starting to fall on us. Cutting mineral wool bats is also quite different than trying to cut fiberglass. Being so dense makes it really easy to measure it, mark it, and make accurate cuts. Uh, really all you need is a straight edge and an old bread knife. R95 in the ceiling is about double what the most stringent building codes require and it's a bit higher than what would really be considered balanced given the insulation values of our walls and under our slabs. Being bat insulation, it's coming in R value increments over R20 so we decided a little bit more was better than a little bit less. After the bats were installed, there's a, a nice airspace at the top for ventilation. Then we got sheathing on and a full membrane by the end of the day. Coming soon will be a video on the final roof covering, which will be a few green roof membranes, six inches of soil, and a nice habitat for birds and insects. <laughs>